Hey there students, this is Mr. Briggs and I'm doing part one of building your birdhouse. Now, the first part to building your birdhouse, the part that's going to be key to making sure you've got a great birdhouse, is by following the plan. Okay, following our blueprint. We want to make sure we look over this really, really well. Now, let's get to how the tools we're going to need. You are going to need a ruler, a really nice pencil. I like the carpenter pencils. You don't need a carpenter pencil, but the fact that it's a little wider and a little thicker is going to help out a whole lot. And you are going to need, at least at some point, your trusty speed square. Okay? Or a rafter square, as some people call it. Now, let's talk about the wood we're going to use. The wood we're going to use here is a cedar picket. Now, cedar is a great wood. It's naturally uh, rot-resistant. Bugs hate it. Um, and it makes for a really good place for the birds to live. It has a nice rough finish. It's going to be more naturally, it'll feel more like a real tree uh, to the bird than anything else. Um, and it gives it lots of great places for the bird to, to grip and climb on. Now there are two ends to this. There's an end here where it is snipped off at the top. That's called dog-eared. And then there's a flat side. We're going to start on our flat side. Okay, let's talk about measuring. Okay, the first thing I've got to measure is the front and the back. And this is the trickiest part of my board. To measure the front and the back, we have to measure four and three quarters inches. So from the bottom here, I'm making sure my bottom's pretty secure. I'm going to measure four and three quarters inches right here. And I'm going to use my square to line it up to the line I made. Okay, let's see if we can see that a little bit better. And I'm going to copy that notch over on this side. Okay? It helps to work as a pair. So I've got a notch right here. I've got a notch right there. Then I take my square, flipping it around, line it up with that notch I made, and go across. And I've got the one part of my roof. I flip that around, line it up with the other notch, and make the other line. And as you can see, this all lines up pretty square. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label this roof. And I'm going to put my name on it real big. And I'm going to put the hour. Once again, labeling everything in this room is going to be key. If you don't label things, they are going to get lost, they are going to get misplaced. All right, now I'm done with that part of my roof. I'm going to move down my board, and my roof stops right here. I've got to make the back now. Well, actually, this wasn't the roof. This is the, this is the front. What am I talking about? That's my front. Derp. Okay, i got to make my back of my house now. So the back of the house is also going to be four and three quarters inches. So I go across, find four and three quarters, and I mark it on one side, and I use my square, I go across, and I'm using my square tight against the piece of wood here, and line it up with that notch I made and drag it across. Okay? Now I'm going to label this my back, put my name on it, nice and clear and big, and the hour. We don't want any pieces going missing. Now I've got to do the next part. Now the next three parts are really simple. The next three parts are the roof, the two roof pieces that are eight and a half inches each, and the bottom, and all of them are eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches is going to be easy. I'm going to go across here, mark eight and a half inches, draw my line heavy and dark, make sure I label it, roof one, my name, nice and big, 
and the hour nice and big. Gonna do another one at eight and a half inches. Use my square, tight up against the wood there. Roof two. Now roof two, I wanna talk a minute about roof two and something goofy about roof two. Now roof two, you're only gonna notice it if you look right here on the notes right there, is roof two, we need to cut off half an inch along the long edge, okay? We need to do that, otherwise our roof will be crooked. And we can cover that a little bit when it comes time to uh, assemble it and cut out our wood. We'll cut out, figure out why. But I'm gonna mark half an inch from the edge right here. And I'm gonna mark half an inch from the edge right there. Using my ruler or another straight edge. I'm going to mark that half inch that I am going to cut off of my roof part two. Okay? I'm going to, like all my pieces here, make sure my name is on it. And the hour. Okay? Now I'm going to go across here to the sides. And the last two pieces are the two sides of my birdhouses, and that is both four and one quarter inches. So here's four and one quarter. Double check my math there. Use my square to draw my line. That is my side. That is my name. That is the hour. Another four and a quarter inches. And I have my side, my name, and the hour. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I also have to do my bottom. Now, I should have done my bottom at the first part, but I can add it on the end, I guess. Mr. Briggs made a goof. Eight and a half inches. Bottom, name, and the hour. All right, so now I have my board, and my board is all marked up and ready to be built. So let's talk about how we're going to check our work, where we're going to put our big pieces of wood, and where we're going to put our small pieces of wood. Okay, so to check my work, uh, here I have the master board. And the master board has all the marks already made on it. I'm going to take the piece of wood I cut, hold it up to my master board. Now I did my job right. All of the lines should line up really, really well. Mine's a little goofy, but you can check your work on the master board. Another thing that you could do is check it with a neighbor, check it with a friend. Or better yet, work with a friend to double check all your work. Now when you are done measuring, where do you put this piece of wood? Well, here's what we're going to do with that piece of wood. We're going to take it, and at the very top here, where we can see it, we're going to write our name at the top of our dog ear. And the hour. Nice and big. And then, we are going to put it on one of the sides of the cart. I'm gonna have one side labeled with one hour, I'm gonna have the other side labeled with the other hour. That way they stay sorted and organized, okay? At the beginning of class, don't go looking for just your board. Grab three boards, pass them out to people in the class. If everybody does that, we'll get all the boards passed out very quickly, as opposed to everybody sitting here looking for their particular board. Now what happens when you start cutting out the smaller pieces? Well, the smaller pieces 
are going to go into your locker. Keep them together and keep them labeled. Okay, every quarter somebody says, Mr. Briggs, my, my parts got stolen. Uh, Mr. Briggs, somebody took my roof. And really, it's a, one person didn't label, another person didn't label, they got their parts confused, and somebody loses their pieces. Okay? Label everything. Everything. And make sure it ends up in your locker. Make sure the names are nice and big so that nobody can get confused about whose pieces are whose. All right? We'll talk later about how we are going to build our birdhouse.